Hey, what it do, y'all? So we just arrived to Boosted Beamers. Uh, we're gonna begin wrapping the hood. First step is we need to clean it, sanitize the hood, kind of sand it down just so that we could, you know, sand down all imperfections so that it doesn't show nothing through the wrap. And uh, I'll show you guys a time lapse if iPhone even has that. But anyway, it's gonna be booth -rated. I don't care. <laughs> So we just finished uh, sanding down the hood. It took like literally five minutes to do. Um, I can feel the imperfections are out. The clear, I did kind of strip it in a way. I wouldn't say strip it, but I'll say that if you wanted to bring it back to its normal shine, you would have to kind of buff it down. Um, next step is to dry it up as much as possible and so that we can actually apply the wrap and it actually sticks. So um, one thing I did find out about Inilsatec um, compared to the wrap companies, it's, it's not just only thick, it does not like to flex. It does not like to flex. Um, and if the surface is not warm enough, it's it's extremely hard for it to stick. Extremely hard. But it's a beautiful wrap. The shine on it, it has no business shining like paint. And let's try and get that done. As you guys can see, I just finished the hood right now. Um, I gotta get the heat gun, kind of like, you know, a couple places where the wrap kind of like punches in and it makes it a little too much stretch. But anyways, um, drop the heat gun, heat that up real quick, finish that off, and the hood is done. Our plan is to wrap the roof. Uh, we just only gotta simply remove these uh, roof trims. They're very simple. If you have a uh, squeegee and shit, not too, just grab it from the other end, just pop it off. Or if you have like a, a plastic tool, you know, Super simple. We just do that real quick. After we remove this, we're gonna clean it, clean it, dry it up. Open the sunroof as well so that we can clean it and dry it up as well. Get okay, on the edges. We uh, take this thing off, the antenna. And we'll do that real quick. All right. So um, I just finished taking off the the fin for the radio on the roof. It's a whole mess. So you're gonna take down the headliner in the back, which is pretty simple. It's not bad, and you're gonna take out the headliner panels in the rear they're just clips but it's just a hassle i didn't know about it there's not much of a write-up on it um i believe it's a 22 nut that the fin is that's what's holding it down a 22 nut that's crazy anyways i'm about to clean the roof right now um and we could commence the wrap on the roof and get that done guys so that should be it for today's video this is going to be part one of the wrapping series um my brother omar jose were able to get the hood done which i didn't even want it no actually it was the hood that i wanted to get done not the roof but since i was here chilling with some friends and just vibing and whatnot i said let me stay longer and let's do the roof so um i'm not 100 percent happy with the wrap itself because i've never dealt with uh in um, it's a very expensive brand, it's very exquisite, you can't really just go out to the store and get it or online, you have to go through a dealer and the majority of these times these dealers don't want to sell it to you because that's how they make their money, right? But, it looks pretty sick, it also looks like you guys do a badass wrap, um, it looks like paint and it should match with my 86 which is, which is chalk as well, but um, that should be it for today's video, so thanks and tune in to the next.